Greetings to all learners. Myself, Sharda Devre, Associate Professor, Government College of Pharmacy, Amravati. Welcome you to the lecture 3, Important Medicinal Plants Mentioned in Ancient Texts of Week 1, Indian Traditional Medicine System. We will learn the important medicinal plants mentioned in ancient text. And in that first one, it is the Umbilica officinalis or Phylanthus Umbilica belonging to family Euphorbiaceae. In English, it is called as Indian gooseberry or umbilic mirobalan, and in Hindi and Marathi, it is called as amla or aula. Its fruit is therapeutically useful part of this plant, and it is immunomodulatory, adaptogenic, due to the presence of tannins, flavonoids, and vitamin C source. These fruits are also antioxidant, anti-diabetic, anti-cancer, and found to be useful in treatment of various diseases. This is the very important ingredient of the very popular uh, Ayush system formulation that is the Trifala Churun. Trifala means three fruits and one fruit is Amla fruit. It is also the ingredient of Chavanprash and Mahasudarshan Churun. Next drug is Acaranthus aspara, Amaranthus family and in English it is called as Devil's Horsewhip and in Sanskrit it is called as Apamarga, in Marathi it is called as Aghada. This plant is traditionally and from the ritual points of view also very useful. It is useful in various types of the uh, rituals like Hartalika or in a Shiv Puja or in Rushi Panchami like this. The leaves are alternative, antipyrodic, diuretic, useful in piles, fissure, warts and it is believed to wipe all body diseases especially of a woman. It contains, its leaves contain saponins, sterols and quinones. And it is an ingredient of formulations that is Apamarga Swarasa and Apamarga Kshara. Next drug it is a Terminelli Arjuna belonging to family Combretasi known as Arjuna or Arjun. And its bark is important, medicinally important part which is astringent, cardiotonic that is a heart tonic due to the presence of the chemical constituent that is a triterpenoids, glycosides, flavonoids and tannins like arjunolic acid and arjunin which are found to be antioxidant and cardioprotective. It is an ingredient of formulations Arjuna Rishta, Arjuna Churna. Next it is a Saraka Asoka, family C. Uh, also known as Lekimenosi. In Sanskrit it is called as Sita Ashoka, in Hindi it is called as Ashoka or Ashoka. We all know that Mata Sita lived in that Ashok one and that is this is the same plant which uh, of which bark is very important which is astringent in nature and it is uterine tonic useful for the uterine ovarian fibroids, menorrhagia, bleeding, hemorrhoids, uh, then dysentery because of the presence of the chemical constituents that is the tannins. Its famous formulation is Ashoka Rishth. Another plant is that is a Plumbago zelenica belonging to family Plumbaginaceae. It is a white lead wart. In English it is called as and in Hindi it is called as Chitrak. It is uh, found to be used in Ayurveda, Siddha, Yunani, Homeopathy systems. Its root or barks are useful as a Rasayana or called as a Rasayana. Rasayana means restorative or uh, improving the overall health of the body. These are useful in the hemorrhoids treatment. It is anti-inflammatory. It is a memory enhancer, anti-colic and uh, it is due to the presence of the naphthaquinones, plumbagin, calmarins and sterols. It is the ingredient of the formulations that is a Chitrakadi Vati, Chitrakharitaki, Chitrakadi Churna, Mahasudarshan Churna and Dashamularisht. Next drug it is a Tribulus Terrestris belonging to family Zygophilacy which is commonly known as a puncture wine or in Sanskrit it is a Gokshura. In Hindi it is called as Gokru. In Marathi also it is called as Gokru. Its fruits are diuretic, aphrodiasic that is a sex stimulant, rejuvenative, tonic in nature. Because of the presence of the steroidal saponins, common phytosterols and traces of the alkaloids. This plant is commonly found in farms and generally it is considered as a weed. It is an ingredient of formulation like a balarisht, gokhru churuna or gokhru vati. Next important drug it is a centella asiatica belonging to family umbelliferi. In English it is called as Indian pennywort. In 
हिंदी मराठी बेंगाली इट इज कॉल्ड एज गोटुकोला मंडुकपर्णी एंड मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम इट इज कन्फ्यूज विद द ब्राह्मी और जल ब्राह्मी इट इज कॉल्ड एज जल ब्राह्मी बट ब्राह्मी एंड जल ब्राह्मी वी हैव सीन इन अ प्रीवियस लेक्चर दैट इज द बकोपा मोनियरी सेंटेला एसिटिका इज नोन एज गोतुकोला और मंडुकपर्णी इट्स लिव्स आर रिजेवनेटिव एंड नर्वाइन टॉनिक This is also useful in dementia, that is in memory enhancement, epilepsy, senility, and premature aging. Due to the presence of triterpenoid saponins, that is acetylcysteine and madecasic acid, it also contains the presence of the sterols and some volatile oil. It is uh, ingredient or its famous formulation is goto cola churna. It is also recently found to be useful in Alzheimer's disease. Very useful plant. it is useful in treatment of various types of the skin diseases it is found to be having the uh, collagen enhance activity for the uh, anti aging efficacy next important traditional medicinal plant is bohoria diffusa belonging to family nictaginaceae in english it is called as red hogweed spreading hogweed and in sanskrit it is known as a punarnava most of the uh, people or practitioners know this drug punarnava its name itself uh, explaining that it is give the new life or it is a rejuvenative in a nature its leaves and whole herb is rejuvenative immunomodulatory anti inflammatory due to the presence of alkaloids that is especially the punarnavin and its formulations are the punarnava mandur uh, varunda divati and kumari asava Next important traditional medicinal plant is Convolvulus prolecolus, belonging to family Convolvulaceae. In Sanskrit, it is called as Shankar Pushpi. Marathi, it is called as Bangra. Its whole plant is useful, and it is used as a brain tonic. It promotes memory. Useful in chronic cough, anti-stress, uh, efficacy due to the presence of xanthones, alkaloids, flavonoids, and phytosterols. Its popular formulation are Brahmi Vati or Shankar Pushpi syrups, which are available as OTC product and used mostly by the students for the memory enhancement at the time of the exams. Next, it is a Tylophora indica belonging to family Ascalpidaceae, which is called as Indian Epicac. In Hindi, it is called as Antamul, and in Sanskrit, it is called as Antrapachka. In Marathi, it is called as Dumbbell because its leaves are useful in the asthma and other uh, elements of respiratory tract treatment. Roots are useful as emetic, catheretic, laxative, and expectorant. In COVID-19, also it is uh, found to be get popularized due to its effect on the respiratory tract disease treatment. Uh, these all efficacies due to the presence of alkaloid styloforin. Its uh, popular formulation is the prana rakshak chorna. Next drug it is a semi carpus anacardium that is belonging to family anacardiaceae which is called as a marking nut. In Marathi it is called as godambi because one of the part of this uh, fruit part of this uh, um, uh, fruit plant is used uh, for the as a dry fruit. Uh, then in marathi hindi it is called as bippa or bhilava its seeds and fruits are aphrodisiac anti tumor respiratory tonic wound healing immunomodulator due to the presence of resins anacardic acid bhilavanol semicarpetin flavonoids commonly we found this uh, the uh, most of the house or most of the ladies used its resin especially the tribal people use it for the uh, for the crack food crack healing uh, it is also found that its resins uh, are having the dermatitis effect on a skin so its use is careful uh, means it should be used carefully next plant it is antrographis paniculata belonging to family acanthaceae in english it is called as king of bitters in sanskrit marathi it is called as kalmek bhuinim or hindi it is called as kirayata it is very bitter in taste and that's why it is called as bitter tonic also this bitter tonic uh, improves the appetite as well as it is useful as antiviral antimicrobial anti diabetic and treatment of various uh, stomach related diseases due to the presence of the bicyclic triterpenoid lactones that is an andrographolide thus we have studied in this lecture very important uh, 12 medicinal plants that are found to be utilized by most of the systems that is the um, ayurveda siddha yunani homeopathy sovarigpa system hope you have got a wonderful knowledge about these ancient medicinal plants thank you